Hey Aquarius, um, my name is Crystal. I'm just going to be doing a quick reading for you guys and see what we get. Okay, so right now, your situation, the Ace of Swords, living in your truth, standing in your truth, triumph after, um, you know, like winning after losing, okay? Basically, like coming out on top. This can also mean that maybe right now you are getting a promotion. It can also mean that a secret is coming out. Um, it, it, take it how it resonates for you, okay? Remember, it's a general reading, so take it how it resonates for you. If it doesn't resonate, leave that part for somebody else and just pay attention to the parts that make sense for you. Um, I feel like I said for you 50,000 times, but okay, situation, nine of cups, you're doing or you're getting what you wished for, you, this is also a soulmate card, could be a soulmate that you're in contact with or soon will be, but this also means that whatever you're working on right now or whatever you're wishing for is about to come to fruition, whatever you're working on is about to pay off, there's a new start coming in, okay, it's definitely, um, going to be something that you wanted, okay, your challenges are page of wands, maybe not having enough inspiration, okay? Maybe you lost that spark, okay, with that being a challenge. But that's okay, because we could change that, all right? Don't, don't, be, don't let stuff get you down, okay? You believe, your beliefs are <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. This means you know that you're about to start something new. You got the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles right away, damn near. Okay, so you know that what you're doing is about to pay off. You know that this is going to create a new business for you. You feel it in your bones, all right? This is also a money-making card. It's the luckiest card out of the deck. So you know that all the stuff that you've been through that you deserve, you know, something for it. And that's basically what that card is. The universe gives us stuff, um, material stuff, money, cars, homes, and stuff like that for all of the stuff that we endured in our lives and by the way that we handled it, Okay. Then you have, um, for your distant future past, <laughs> distant past, seven of wands, feeling like you always had to have your guards up around certain people, not being able to trust other people, maybe things kept on popping up for you a lot, like just unexpected things, and, you know, it was just like uncomfortable for it, it was like you were unprepared for it, something popped up, what's, the, let's see, That's seven of wands, seven of wands, page of cups. Okay, maybe you had your guards up towards love, okay? Seven of Wands, Page of Cups. Maybe you don't want to talk to anybody. Maybe you, you don't trust anybody. You're not trying to give them the time of day, okay? But I feel like you should maybe release some of those walls because not everybody is going to hurt you, okay? For your near past, you got the Queen of Swords. You're being able to see clear. This is also about intuition. This is also like you were confused. Now you're not. You're starting to be able to notice things why things are happening, how things are happening. Ace of Wands, you got three fucking aces so far. The only one that you don't have yet is the Ace of Cups, right? And the Ace of Cups is a promise from the universe to be able to live out your dreams. This is like the cup of being, this is the cup of living out your dreams. So maybe you haven't lived out what you exactly wanted to do yet, but I see that you're taking the steps to get there, okay? The Ace of Wands is a new love in the recent past. A new passion, a new job, a new something new that you are passionate about. But it was like you were able to see right through them. Or maybe you kind of knew. Okay, because I feel like you didn't want to give this person a chance. And then you had the Ace of Wands. So maybe you did give this person a chance, okay? But if not, it can just be saying that you kind of are just standing in your phone. And you're just waiting for the right one. Okay. <clears throat> for the future. I'm not taking all these. But you have a broken heart and you have a devil. So something might not go the way that you expect, but it might just be for a reason. Okay, for your future, your future, you have the High Priestess card. Okay, this is like somebody who has like lots of intuition. So I feel like you're going to come into your intuition a lot more, especially with the Queen of Swords. Being able to see right through stuff. The Ace of Swords being able to see right through stuff. Maybe also with the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords. Somebody is keeping something from you. And this is about to come into the light. Okay? It's like she's holding this paper that's wrapped up. You don't really know what she got in there. So it's like she's holding a secret. Okay? But with the Ace of Swords being that the truth is going to come out in the future. I feel like maybe if it doesn't come out, you're just going to know it intuitively. And that's going to be able to help you make whatever kind of decision that you have to make on that. I don't know. Let me move this down. Okay. Then, how you see yourself is death. 
you see yourself as somebody who's transformed, somebody who's been through hell and back, but also learned from it and grew from it. You didn't allow this to keep you down. Like, you kept on pushing towards the sun, because there is a sun in the back of this card, so it's not all bad. It's just transformation. It's just a big change in your life, a big change of the person that you are, and it's just saying that, you know, you've been through hell, but you learned from it, you grew from it, and now you're stronger. All right, so you see yourself as somebody who's been through hell, somebody who will stand through anything and keep on pushing. So you're very strong. Other people see you as the hierophant, as like the God, okay? Other people look up to you, all right? They may come to you when they have problems and issues and stuff like that. So it could make sense if you're very intuitive. It makes a lot of sense. Other people come to you because you're a guide for them. You help them get over their situations. Other people see you as like, you know, I think other people look up to you. See how they're looking up to him, like praying to him. I feel like they come to you for help. Um, your actions and advice. The emperor, take charge. Stand your ground. Find your passion because you lost your spark, okay? So find that spark again and light that shit up, okay? Light that fire underneath your butt. <laughs> and then the two of pentacles. It's like you got a lot of things going on for you right now. And this is also the infinity sign around the two of pentacles, you know, the eight. It's like things keep on going round and round for you. And it's like, you know, you don't have to keep on juggling so many things. I know you have a lot of stuff that you want to do, but you have to put certain things down so that way you can focus more on one thing. So don't try to do too many things at one time because that might that might be the reason why you lost spark is because things are not really going as fast as you want it or the way that you want it is because maybe your mind is focused on so many things. Like not just like just jobs and careers and love and stuff like that, but I feel like other issues like home issues and stuff like that. It's just like, you know, try to just take your time and focus on the thing you want the most. Go for that. Once you get that accomplished, go for the next. Then for your future, the hermit, introspection, not wanting to see things, not, you know, having a blindfold over your eyes, there's a decision that you're going to need to make in the future, but it's going to be something that you don't want to do because it's going to hurt, okay, it's going to hurt, so I don't know if this is, huh, okay, you don't want to make this, this is for the future, you don't want to make a decision because you're going to lose something or someone that you're holding on to, okay? But in order to move and grow and be able to do things better for ourselves and to be just happy on the inside, it's like you have to let go of what isn't serving you anymore, okay? You're holding on too, too, too tightly to something that's causing a lot of pain. You just have to make a choice to get rid of this, okay? And then underneath of the deck is the Six of Pentacles. I feel like things are gonna start working out for you. Things are gonna start balancing out for you, but you have to believe in that. Um, what else? The Magician. This is just saying that you have a lot of tools. You have all the tools that you need to make it to where you need to be. You're a great manifester. This can also mean that, you know, um, like I said, with the lion thing that's about to come out, um, this can also be that you're dealing with a manipulator, so maybe somebody's about to, like, spill their guts. Um, yeah, and you need to let go of this situation because you do have a love offer coming in that can end up in a marriage, okay? It's going to bring unity, reunion, happiness, okay? But if you keep on holding on to this sadness and this regret and all this other stuff and not choosing to let these emotions go... You're not, you're, you might miss out on this, okay? Because there is somebody that has, I don't know if they have their eye on you, but somebody's going to be popping up in for you soon, offering you 